Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, August the 6th. It's the Feast of the Transfiguration, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 87, and Acts chapter 4, verse 32, to chapter 5, verse 11. And please join me in singing verse 8 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of New Britain. Through watery deeps and fiery ways, we march at your command, led to possess the promised place by your unerring hand. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, O oh God, your foundation is in the holy mountains. Hallelujah. Psalm 87. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, O oh God, your foundation is in the holy mountains. You love the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. I will add Egypt and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia. They were born there. And of Zion it shall be said, Everyone was born in her, and the Most High shall establish her. You shall count when you write in the register of the people that this one too was born there. The people shall dance as they sing. All my springs are in you, Zion. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, O God, your foundation is in the holy mountains. Hallelujah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, beginning at verse 32. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold, and they laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as they had need. There was a Levite of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. And he sold a field that belonged to him, and then he brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. But a man named Ananias, with the consent of his wife, sold a piece of property with his wife's knowledge. He kept back some of the proceeds, and brought only a part and laid it at the apostles' feet. Ananias, Peter asked, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit, and to keep back part of the proceeds in the land? While it remained unsold, did it not remain your own? And after it was sold, <clears throat> were not the proceeds at your disposal? 
How is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You did not lie to us, but to God. Now when Ananias heard these words, he fell down and died. And great fear seized all who heard of it. The young men came and wrapped up his body and then carried him out and buried him. Now after about three hours, his wife came in, not knowing what happened. And Peter said to her, Tell me whether you and your husband sold the land for such and such a price. And she said, Yes, that was the price. And Peter said to her, How is it that you have agreed together to put the Spirit of the Lord to the test? Look, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. Immediately she fell down at his feet and died. And when the young men came in and found her dead, so they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And great fear seized the whole church and all who heard of these things. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I command my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You are the source of light and life, dear God. Count us among your people when you write in your register, for we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your new Jerusalem. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.